Hey! MLG quarter finals, baby. We have fucking made it after a five and one record, five and two overall. Uh, we have made it to quarterfinals. We are the second seed in our conference. We are like third or fourth seed overall in the in the league. So we're taking on Septile Scythe, coach of the, I think it's the Septile Super Kings, if I remember correctly. So if you guys are excited for today's Pokemon Showdown Draft League Battle, just hit the like button and subscribe button if you guys are new here. We are so close to 300 if we haven't hit it already by this point. So yeah, uh, no Torn on this team is a little bit concerning. But uh, it didn't do so good in this matchup, so I guess it's it makes sense. I have so many messages. Oh my god, leave me alone. Okay, uh, I also just finished eating, so like my my stomach is still trying to process food. So there's that issue as well. He brought Zapdos, Nido King, um, Feet Guy. What the hell is your name? Azelf, Comfey, Hiram, and Caesar. What did you not bring? Blastoise, wait, you get 6 0 by Zard off lead. <laughs> wait, you literally get 6 0 by Charizard off lead, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Um. Ow. I just hit my fucking desk. At least with A self, right? What stopped me from leading with Snorlax? I'm just clicking facade. Let's find out. I don't need no king. Snorlax. So I know Nido King could be packing. I believe Nido King like superpower, right? I'm pretty sure. I I prepped assuming Nido King learned superpower. I think it does though. It do be learning superpower. So Nido King, he's got a superpower. I chew. I chew it up. Hit him with a nice facade. Gets him some stealth locks. 36. As I'll just click it again. I don't really mind taking the hit. Because this is my this is here to check Neo King, right? I could also go into slow bro. But he could also double scissor, expecting here he's either gonna double scissor or click superpower. So I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into discombobulated. Because he's either going scissor or clicking superpower. Or his two plays, right? Or going Zapdos. On a mid ground. What is my thing? So Right, that's that have to be like a sequence of plays, right? Because there's no way you click Earth Power here. That's just a bad play. <laughs> if anything, you click Sludge Wave, but even that's a bad play. Zapdos on mid ground. That should chill with me because I can get rocks up. It goes back to Nido King. Who cares? Rocks going up is super good. Getting that chip. Getting that chip. Might go hard, cure him, but he might also fear a toxic. I don't know where he goes. He might toxic me and trade toxics. Yeah, probably aromatherapy on the Comfey if I had to guess. Probably aroma therapy on the comfy if I had to guess. So rocks are up. Probably going to click U-turn. Back into Nido King. I don't really care because I have slow bro though. All toxic here. I think he's just gonna go into Nido King. But all toxic. Yeah. Whatever. I'm not too miffed. I have AV Slowbro for this. Covers a, covers a super power play here. If he wants to predict Snorlax, if he has it. Otherwise, he'll just click Sludge Wave, which I'll chew up just fine. Um, and I can throw up a Future Sight. He didn't bring Pangoro, which is huge, because my team got railed by Urshifu. So him having Pangoro is kind of scary. It's just a slower, shittier Urshifu. That does nothing. And uh, I'm going to Future Sight. <laughs> Throwing up a future site. Start getting chip on that Caesar. That Caesar. Charizard just wins. Like, there's nothing he can do about it. I do take 50 coming in, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Um, if anything, it breaks. Also, crit Drapion also just kills all of the things. Is this thing? He switches out. He could be Scarf Nido King. I know that Sceptile really likes Scarf Nido King. So. Do fear potential knock here. But this is my best thing to take it. Would be this. Um, this thing's also not rocks. Because he's rocks Nido King. Like, how much does Knock do to me? Knock does a lot if he's offensive, actually. Especially if he's physically invested. Um. I'm gonna, I think I go Drapion, even though I don't want to get knocked off. 
I think I have to. Because I don't want to let my AV get knocked off on bro. Not yet. Does have knock. 21. No life orb. Knock off to 21. So that is pretty physically invested. Yeah, pretty physically invested. No life orb. Actually, wait. You might be banded. You might be banded. This scissor, I don't really care. I'll click Fire Fang on this thing. 26. Yeah, let's click Fire Fang on this thing. So, if you want to switch out, who cares? Uh, killing the scissor is huge. If he wants to pivot out, don't know where you're going to go. Like Zapdos, I'll just click Rock Slide. Cure him, I'm, I beat. So... Like, he can Zapdos, but he's taking Fire Fang, and then I'll knock off his boots. So, like, I'm not too not too worried about that. Guard also does really good here. That's just clicking buttons. Kind of wish I had Moonblast, but I liked Sub Willow here to bait Scizor. Because uh, it never killed me in one, so it was a pretty free. Like, it never... It, I never killed it in one. So, it was a pretty free switch in the guard. Easily, yeah. Into Comfe. 21... Now you fear jab. Where do you where do you go on jab? <laughs> yeah, where do you go on jab? Nido King? Nope, you just sack off Kumfe. Is is your plan. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that was your plan. Let's just sack off Kumfe. Okay. With Scizor being so low, nothing he can't roost on anything. Kind of like going into Stunfisk. Starting to punish this thing. I could also just go into Slowbro. I'm going to go into Slowbro first here. Keep draping around because it does still break kind of nicely. He also could now fear Jab. Although Dragon Kiss doesn't... No, it doesn't kill me. Unless he gets the exact same roll. Yeah. But, like, I think I just flamethrower. Stop him from roosting. I think that's my safer play. Because I can't. I don't want to let this thing get a free roost up. He's fizz death, so this should die to slow, bro. Um, I don't think U turn kills me in one as well, because I'm just a slow, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to flamethrower here. <laughs> Doubles into Azelf. Fearing flamethrower. 32. I get the burn. That's huge because he's physical Azelf. That's insanely big. Um, As I think I still give him Drapion here. That's insanely big. U-turn. Still stop a scissor clicking roost. And this thing's just taking more chip. That's just 15. Are you banded? You have to be banded Azelf, right? You're doing so much damage. With U turn and you're burned? Did 15? Not banded. Looks like you're adamant, if I had to guess. Um. I can just go into Stun Fisk next turn, though. <laughs> oh, Earthquake here. Sack that off. I can also just go into Charizard. Yeah, I can just go into Charizard. If I click SD. Like, what does he do? How does he stop how does he stop me from setting up a DD and winning the game? Just find regular Charizard. Like, what was your counterplay to this Pokemon? Scarf Azelf? Maybe your adamant scarf? I never kill. 
So I could just SD here. I'm going to SD in regular here. Yeah, Scarface Elf. I'm going to scale shot. Like, he has to be Scar... He's Scarface Elf, then. That has to be his, his out here. He's boom. Okay. Okay. Scarf Boom Azelf was your counterplay to Charizard. What if I just roosted that turn? Comfey. Like, I'm... like You had nothing for... You brought nothing for this Mon. At all. That's why I'm, like, thrown off, right? I don't think... I think I can still win this, though. I'm just Snorlax do to come fit. Facade, I get him out. I'm gonna punch here. Actually, I could just guard of war. This does so much more than I thought it thought it would. Yeah, I can just start clicking psychic with guard of war. Me subbing gets me nowhere because he might just sack off Scizor. So I may as well just Psychic. Because me subbing gets me nowhere. Because I could sub and then he sacks off Scizor, but he bullet punched to break my sub. So all that really happens, I kill Scizor, but with less health. If he doesn't go Scizor, then I guess it's a misplay on my end, but he should just sack off Scizor here. And then I can just sub on this next time I come next time I come in on this. Why? 57. I'm just gonna do it again. I guess he doesn't need this, does he? I guess that's fair. Yeah, I guess he doesn't need this, huh? So then my play here is to sub. My play here is the sub. Oh, I'm fucking dirty with it. Oh, I'm fucking dirty with it. If he doesn't need the Comfey there, right? Kill the Nido King. Um, if he doesn't need Comfey there, and he's trying to sack it off, he draining kisses before me. I get a sub up. Draining kiss doesn't break my sub. I kill Comfey, net another kill. Oh, he's dirty, dirty with it. Oh, he's got the sick nas. Oh, he's sick nasty with it. Oh, free Nido King kill. As, like, Zapdos doesn't beat Snorlax. Especially if I can get myself Static Parrot. <laughs> right? If I can get myself Static Parrot, Snorlax does beat Zapdos 1v1. Comfey is chipped. Scizor, he has to go into Scizor. I think I'd sack up. Do I sack off Guard of War and Mystical Fire? Or do I just give him Stun Fisk? <sighs> Scizor. He has to roost here. Is it in my best interest to stop the roost? Like, do I lose if I lose Gardevoir? And I think the answer is I do lose if I lose Gardevoir if he's come and come fit. If he roosts. If he roosts here. I go into this. And he either U turns or goes into Zapdos hard. And if he keeps pivoting around, Scizor will get shipped. I think it's smarter for me. Well, I'm not faster than Kirim, and Kirim will kill me. I'm going to stop the roost. He does bullet punch. Okay. I think it was smarter for me to do that. Because I didn't need Gardevoir for as much. Because Snorlax can still beat Comfey. Scizor... As I can just start fishing for discharge barrows here. Yeah, I'm just gonna start fishing for discharge barrows. If he goes into Zapdos, give it to me. Ah, oh, that might have been a misplay. I think I should have just went into Stunfisk. Uh, I think that was a misplay, and I'm gonna lose to this. I was fishing for it. If he gets paired here, I win. 
Or I'm just faster. Nice. <laughs> or I'm just faster. That also works. As Snorlax, I think, is my safest of the three, yeah. Because it covers all three. Because I'm immunity for the, the Zapdos. I don't feel bad about the para, because that's literally why I brought fucking Discharge 4, was to get the para. You don't do damage with Stone Fisk. You bait, you bait statics. Curum. Um, thought I made it so Facade always breaks up. I guess I didn't do that. I'll just Rock Slide here. Be Draco's and his specs, then I'll chew it pretty fine. Yeah, I should chew it just fine. Dragon Dance. Okay. Still shouldn't kill me in one, and based off that roll, I should kill with another. The Slowbro take on Dragon Dance cure him any better. It's what, like Outrage? No, not if he locks an outrage. Dragon Claw. Yeah. I didn't gain anything going slow, bro, there. Zapdos comes in. He's not boot Zapdos. Protect for lefties. Toxic. Okay, so I'll get a free turn here. Because he's going to try and talk to me again. That's fine. Um, Storlax, what does more? Rock Slide does more by a decent chunk. Rock Slide. He's going to try and toxic me again. That's fine. I'm immunity. So I guess it is in my interest to facade then and try and get myself parried. Immunity. Give me a para, give me a para. Nice. Now that I'm paralyzed, facade's doing 48. So I can just facade here. Yeah, that does a good chunk. I guess it's in my best interest to protect here and try and gain lefties on this parad. Distress was 14. Discharge. 15. This is the only downside to this set. <laughs> this is the only downside to the Snorlax. Protect. Discharge. This is the only downside to this, is I'm playing with a lot of fire right now. Especially with that. <laughs> okay! <laughs> it's funny the first time. You need to stop that. How much does Slowbro do? Luckily, I chew up discharges. Oh my god. Oh my god, getting paired every turn has been very annoying. If I protect here... If I get a protect here, I get another hit off. Okay. Discharge. I'll get one more off. Uh... I should have I should have sacked Stun Fisk. That's literally what it was here for. Facade. He's gonna try and roost. I need to not get punished here. I need to not get punished here. Come on. Come on, Snorlax. Come on, Snorlax. Okay. <laughs> okay, Snorlax. Thank you. It's I I just need to get damage off. If I only get one hit off, I need to get one hit off. <sighs> That's bad. Yep, that sucks. That's, uh, that's about it. <laughs> that's about the game. I got no damage off of my Snorlax, which is really bad. I got no damage off my Snorlax, which is really bad. Because if you don't, yeah. And then I'm not going to be able to live this to kill Comfey, unfortunately. So I'm going to lose just out. Oh my god. I choked one turn. Oh, I choked one turn and lost the entire battle off of Paris. That's super unfortunate. Ah, uh, so that's our season. That's really unfortunate.
Um, I should have just sacked off Stunfisk. I didn't need it for anything on that turn, but I sacked Gardevoir, which just caused me to lose the game. So, GG Sceptile, and uh, yeah, that's our MLG season. If you guys enjoyed the MLG season, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new here. And uh, with that, left-hand side will be YouTube recommended for you, and on the right-hand side will be our MLG playlist if you haven't checked it out already. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out.